Disclaimer, these videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Cane Hill located in Washington County, Arkansas on November 28, 1862. Union Brigadier General James G. Blunt's division of the Army of the Frontier had moved into northwest Arkansas in the fall of 1862. During this time, Confederate General Thomas C. Heineman dispatched a portion of his 1st Corps, a cavalry unit commanded by General John S. Marmaduke, to forage for supplies for the Army and to prevent Blunt's Union forces from advancing on the Arkansas River Valley, where the Union was hoping to meet up with other Union troops stationed in Springfield for the winter. Heineman moved the rest of his 1st Corps to stop the Union force. Confederate Colonel Joseph Joe Shelby's 4th Missouri Cavalry Brigade moved into the area of Cane Hill to stop Blunt. Unfortunately for Shelby, Blunt was approaching from a different angle than Shelby had anticipated, causing the Confederate forces to be surprised by the appearance of the Union troops. The battle started with an artillery duel between the forces, but Blunt's 30 cannon had the advantage over the Confederate 6 artillery pieces. In addition, as the forces collided and the infantry began to fight, Blunt's men, who were armed with standard rifles, while many of the Confederates only had shotguns, which were not nearly as effective in the open battlefield. The initial contact went poorly for the Confederates and the line collapsed. Immediately, Shelby realized he would have to begin a withdrawal, which became a full retreat. Shelby, however, had a plan that worked. Instead of a full withdrawal, Shelby would have a segment of his men run past the rest of his troops towards the rear. They would then set up a position and cover the retreat of the next segment. That would run past them and set up further behind. This allowed Shelby to always have a prepared defense as his men leapfrogged in their withdrawal. The fight lasted more than 9 hours and stretched across 12 miles where 5,000 Union troops pushed 2,000 Confederate troops back into the Boston Mountains. It is said that Colonel Shelby had four horses shot out from under him while defending the Confederate line. The Union troops stopped pursuing once Shelby was pushed out of the area and made camp at Cane Hill themselves. Estimated losses were 41 Union soldiers, including 2 killed and 39 wounded, while the Confederates suffered 45 soldiers in total that were killed, wounded, and captured or missing. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.